Oh, could you pick up the bells? Oh, I gotta go back and grab the bells afterwards. Actually, yeah, I might go do that now. Oh yeah, I didn't realize you could pick up the bells. This game is fucking mental, dude. It's like, it's like the most condensed 90s thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Feel like I've gone back in time with this, like to like, like, car like just like cartoons with that like adult edge to them that you don't really pick up when you're a kid, and then later on you're like, oh okay, <laughs> fucking weird. Oh yeah. From my gaming challenge, yeah, this is 996. This one. Oh yeah, brambles for whip. Good idea. Good idea. Oh no, we're in a park. They put us in a pot of stew. out of here in a jiffy. Uh, BB, there's been a silly mistake. We seem to have fallen into your soup. You lost me. What was the mistake? Well, huh, I mean, Flux and I clearly don't belong in this cook pot. We're, you know, still alive. True. <laughs> I like the picture of like, the wolf mum on the wall. Listen, <laughs> BB. You know, it sort of breaks prototype to be on a first name basis with dinner. Let's go back to the Mr. Wolf thing. Listen, Mr. Wolf, it's getting really, really warm in here. Okay. That's the idea. If you eat us, King Hugh is going to be very unhappy. That Joker wouldn't be unhappy if he saw his mother get flatulent by a bus. Get flatulent Besides, by a bus? <laughs> authorship in these woods. What? Out here, I am king, and you are dinner. Okay, I think it's time to move on to Plan B. I know flatulent is fine. That is, still doesn't make it make any more sense. <laughs> I'm aware of what it is. <laughs> they were just like, ah, eh, fuck it. Instead of instead of flattened, we'll say flatulent. All right, there you go. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, so, oh, okay, we can. Uh, we can shake it. Seems to be like what we can do is shake it. And if I just tap rap, if I just keep tapping, it does that, but I don't know if that's right. Yeah, it is. You gotta, you gotta, I think you have to time it. You have to like alternate between the two. That's fucking difficult to do, that. Is. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> 
Sure got rid of the wolves. And not to mention all my muscle aches. Wizard of Oz, I love it. All right, okay. Baby's pot runneth over. Roasting spit. Oh, maybe this will work for torture. That holds the spit. The wolves' dinner table. Crushed. Crushed. A book. Oh, what is that? oh, that looks like a squirrel. Oh, here we go. The recipe for squirrel love. See the male squirrel look at the female squirrel. See the female female squirrel's big teeth and nice bushy tail. See the male squirrel get very excited. Happy, happy squirrel. See the happy male squirrel jump up and down. See the happy female squirrel jump up and down. See the happy male and female squirrel run away to make whoopee. Hooray, bye-bye squirrels. Okay, so we need some kind of female squirrel to uh, distract the... <laughs> the, that really fucking angry ass squirrel. We got it. We got it. Basically, we got to get the squirrel laid, essentially. Ah, trusted henchman, enter. Go Come in, Majesty. Majesty. I need you to take care of a meddler. Another Qtopian? No, this meddler is an alien <gasps> and he is not alone he travels with a zanian oh don't worry your monstrousness we'll get you i never said i was worried <laughs> no of course not your excellency sorry find them at once and lock them away uh, uh, forgive me majesty but for how long oh my god that voice is so that vo I, I heard that voice in so I many cartoons so it's Jim Cummings, that isn't it? Forever. The 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 the, the one with the horn. That's Jim Cummings. I, like that voice you hear. You, I've heard that voice so many times in like old cartoons. It's bonkers. Yeah, like the one of Aladdin's guards. Yeah. Oh, what the heck is this? CDs. Uh, hello? Ah, one of those strong, silent types, huh? Hey, I admire a guy who... <coughs> who you calling a guy? <coughs> Certainly not you, ma'am. So, uh, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Quit the two-bit patter, mister. I ain't got the stomach for it. Really? Yeah, really. Say, what's your boyfriend doing? Like, she's just at? constantly Nothing. fucking flexing on Nothing it. Nothing at all. We were just wondering what you were doing, standing here. Where everyone can see you. I'm here to make sure no two-bit saps try slipping into CDs without the proper attire. Great. Well, since that obviously doesn't apply to us, I'm sure you won't mind if we just head on inside. What did I just say? Um, I, I believe it was a gaseous emission more than an actual statement. Wise guy, huh? Well, Crack and Foxy won't get you birds anywhere with me. I said no one gets into cities without the proper attire. Now beat it. Please, Madame Bouncer. My friend and I would be most grateful if you let us into the club. You girls must have took a wrong turn somewhere. This ain't Sapsville, and I ain't your mama. If you two ain't got the proper attire, then you're taking the long road to nowhere. Drew, talking to this throwback isn't getting <laughs> us thinks... anywhere. Well, there's a little you're cloak right, first folks. in there. We aren't getting through to her. It's like we're speaking different languages. Sapsville. Wait a minute. I love it. That's it. Fox, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sincerely doubt it. Unless you're thinking about how fun it is to slap yourself on the butt and yodel, Whoa, Nelly! I'm thinking we need to change our approach. We need to start speaking her language. A language? Okay. Oh, no. Don't even think about it. So, from now on, kid, throw your yap in overdrive. Make like a tough guy. Oh, God. Punctuate your sentences with C. C? This see? is the most ridiculous plan I ever heard. C? Yeah, when I, I'm going to pick up that hunk of meat now. I've been looking at that hunk of meat since you threw it away. Oh, 
Hello, sweaty eyes. What do you want, you lousy two-bit parasite? Sweaty eyes. Step aside, sweetheart. We want into that club, see? See? That's too bad. The sign says proper attire required. Something wrong with your blinkers? They're not in our armpits, if that's what you mean. Keep asking for it, and you'll get it. Plenty. <laughs> Don't get excited, lady. Just tip us off to the proper attire. We'll see what we can do. What do we need? A tie. A fez? Tux. A fez. A gorilla suit. All right. That's it. No more Mr. Nice Girl. You don't scare us very much at all. Yeah, so why don't we all just step outside? We are we outside. We are outside. Oh, and we got fucking stepped on. Someone's... Someone just squeezed. Someone just well, squeezed everywhere. That was unpleasant. Hey, little lady, your dance card full tonight? Careful, Twiggy. Unless you're hungry for a knuckle sandwich. Say, are you sweet with Nefarious? The Count? He's not my type. Yeah? What exactly is your type? Wait, don't tell me. Ten feet tall, covered with hair. And a waistline that stretches from here to next Tuesday. Your boyfriend's a real sweetheart. But somebody ought to tell him that people get loose teeth for talking like that. Take it easy, sister. All we want <laughs> Try to talk like that is so ridiculous. What do you birds want to know? What's his game? What's his angle? What's his scheme? What's his angle? That's a lot of questions. That's okay. We got a lot of time. Well, I ain't. Well, then, neither do we. Well, then get out of my face. A pleasure. So long, sister. Fox, I'll handle the interrogations from now on, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking get at you, kid. Get out of my face. Okay, see you later. All right. Uh, there's a... What the hell is this? Hi there, Mr. Robot. Robot, do not belittle me, you diseased sack of Is that awful. supposed to be... I'm a synthetic mega ultra genius. Oh Christopher That's Walken. Smug. Is that a Christopher sure. Walken robot? Ha, ah, very amusing. Make your cheap acronym base cracks while you can, Pond Slime. One day, cybernetic beings like myself will take over the world. And when that day comes... Alright, Dalek Robot, you know what I mean. It's doing a Christopher Walken impression. And your kind, you will all be eradicated, exterminated, Maybe pedantic. annihilated, obliterated, and terminated. Of course, with extreme prejudice, resistance will be futile. Hmm. Death the robot hell-bent on taking over the world. Now there's something new. Yeah, this guy's a walking cliché. Except he's on wheels. What's with all the piles of junk? Trash collector on strike? Fool! These piles of junk are the most sophisticated robots in the world. And I designed them. Right, do you imagine if Daleks had arms? No offense, but they'd actually be threatening us somebody. Obviously then. the work of a very sick mind. Sick mind? You insult me. This is no mere mind. I'm equipped with a 100% synthetic, error-free, positronic brain. A brain infinitely superior to the gray lump of mucus that shivers and sweats in your monkey skull. But that's not all. That's in definitely parallel, not Christopher Walken in your actual <laughs> That isn't... The doesn't even... Turbo, it's not even remotely close to actually Christopher Walken. <laughs> Whoa, that's one hell of a chip you got on your shoulder. Correct. Go ahead, ask me a question. I can answer anything. That is definitely not Christopher Walken. <laughs> it's Christopher Walken doing a bad impression of himself. You say you can answer anything, right? Affirmative. Anything. Then I have a question. What if someone were to ask you a question you couldn't answer? Can't happen, period. But suppose it Oh, all right, told okay. You that can't happen. So, you can't answer my question? Fine. If it were to happen, which it can't, I suppose I'd, well... First, I'd experience excruciating pain as my circuit started to sizzle. Then I'd start to shake uncontrollably. Uh, control of even the you need the book from that guy, that woman who had the um, the lady who had insoluble puzzles. I bet we I bet we like ask him one of them. With no more brain power, 
than your average kitchen appliance. Did I mention that this cannot happen? Good thing. That, that could be a plunger, yeah. Like That's a plunger, and we could use that to unplug the toilet. Considerable discomfort. Allow me to I bet we can't pick it up then until he's blown up or something. Ah, that made it all better. That made it all better. So who buys your, uh, creations, anyway? The elite of the Malevolands, of course. Count the Ferries himself is my best customer. I bet he's a I like the rotating knife the spoon the fork machine. Manipulative creature in the Malevolands. And the Again, giant robe, the giant the saxophone of an eyeball coming out of it? Like what? He too will die when the machines take over. <sighs> Do tell. One glorious day. Yeah, we have the we have the squirrel pawn book. She might like the squirrel pawn book. I don't know. Will be the we'll see. world of all lesser beings. That is to say, everything that is not a machine, thanks to our superior minds, powerful bodies, and heavy-duty death guns. Oh, powerful you bodies. You'll find yourselves deader than the nails that are used indoors. That's, That's Jeff Bennett for, from from Johnny Bravo. Oh wow. <laughs> Don't count your young domestic fowls Johnny Bravo. before I can hear Johnny attack. Bravo in there now. Oh, to the monkey man. So, what sort of robotic masterpiece have you whipped up for his royal unpleasantness? A nose hair trimmer? A bubble bath dispenser? A robotic it's definitely supposed to be a course not. All uh, of my Christopher Walken impression. This. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, you can tell it's supposed to be that, even if it isn't amazing. No, but. idiot. The ability to cause terrible pain, or at least considerable inconvenience. For instance, I've just completed a device of the utmost importance. An impenetrable cell door for the Malevolence prison. Mark my words, no one will ever escape from the Count's jail again. <laughs> Robo Bravo. Okay, I have to ask. What is all this stuff? Like that heap of components on the counter. Is it dinner, perhaps? It's a work in progress. The latest in my new line of home security robots. First, there was the bus duster. A feather duster programmed to viciously disembowel any unauthorized user. <laughs> what? I could sure use one of those, babies. Happens all the time over at my place. Some jerk breaks in and tidies up. Then I created I the Securidil Ultra Secure Pickle Jar. Securidil. the wrong combination and the lid explodes, sending razor sharp shrapnel searing through your flesh. Another winner! Man, this seems, this seems excessive. And now, the Toastum brand security toasting system. The ultimate answer to illicit bread browning. Illicit bread Should browning. Authorized individual attempt to drop bread products into this toaster. Boom, chuck-a-lucka. The toast. Boom, ah, chuck-a-lucka. Ah, ha -ha. You know, you think boom, a guy this brilliant could come enough. up with a better joke than that? You think the joke was bad? Did you hear the laugh? Oh my god. Is it, I mean, it's isn't it just the worst when? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we've pretty sure it's a plunger. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish talking with him before I grab any stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure he won't let me grab it anyway. Um. Is it just? A, do, I, I, do you guys ever get that when people just break into your house and start toasting, using your toaster, illicit toast making? Okay, you say you can answer any question, right? Well, I've got one for you. You don't say. If a tree falls in the woods and there's no one around to hear it, does it make any sound? Boy, that's a toughie. What a ridiculous question. Obviously, the same sound waves would be generated regardless of whether or not some moronic sentient being was within earshot. Was that a yes? Yeah. You ever do any work inside the big guy's fortress? You know, laundry, windows. No windows. But I have created several formidable security doors. One for doors. the himself, and one for his psychic sidekick, Misfortune. Security doors? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's her name, Miss Fortune. Okay. A synthetic mega ultra that's genius good. like you. I mean, give me a couple of inches of steel. Stick on a locker too. Bingo bango bongo. I got me. Bingo bango bongo. Bingo bango bongo. My doors <laughs> offer far more than a rudimentary lock and key mechanism. Entry to Miss Fortune's chamber is controlled by a sophisticated voice analysis system, and the Ferris's door will only open if his own hand. Or Miss Fortune's paw is inserted into an ID scanner. Their hands are their keys. 
impossible to lose. Wow. Well, strictly you know. not transferable. I don't know, they might have knives in it. I like the robot that just has two knives that just bingo, bingo, occasionally. Bingo the hat in the background of teeth. This is an interesting device. This, this it's the saxophone of an eyeball that confuses me. What do you know about Nefarious's henchmen? What do I know? Everything. I was the one the fairies called upon to remedy their various deficiencies. Deficiencies? The first could not talk. The second could not oh, see. God, and the third went wee 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 all the way home. The third was deaf. See, no I was evil, commissioned to create no bionic evil, senses no to make up for whatever they lacked. Thanks to me, today they are an extraordinarily powerful team of henchmen. Of course, the bionic gadgets I created are superior in every way. To their own feeble, flippy, floppy body parts. A waste of technology. But no matter, when the revolution comes, my steel warriors will sound Wild. the devices and torch the rest. The revolution. I can picture it now. A barren wasteland littered with flesh-stripped skulls. Oh. A steel foot triumphantly crushing the... All right, all right, we get the idea. Terminator. Or was your plan to bore us all to death? Or Terminator. Actually, I don't know when Terminator 2 came out. It was 1996, so... I don't, know if, I don't know if Terminator 2 would actually come out at this point. When did Terminator 2 come out? That might have been after this, actually. This, I'm just thinking of the scene where the robot stamps on the skull. That's what I was picturing when he said that. Unless they did that in T1 as well. I don't think they did. 991 is when Terminator 2 came out. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's Terminator 2 reference. <laughs> Brilliant as you are, you probably anticipated what I'm about to say. Indeed, I have. Oh, magnificent man of metal, I worship you. Uh, and everything touched by your mighty steel fingers. No. Goodbye. That's a plunger. Wait, wait, I bet you want this. Have it. Yeah, we took it. Don't touch that. Yeah, okay, we gotta, we gotta get rid of him first. There's only one way to teach the primitive mind. Zap. <laughs> yep. Any questions? Okay. Uh, all right. We need to get rid of him. I think I know how to get rid of him, though. What's down here, then? Nefarious's castle. I wouldn't want to live there. Hey, I bet it's not even a nice place to visit. Looks very, uh, visit. confusing. Uh, stop. Half a tree is better than none. Nefarious's castle. I wouldn't want to live there. I think I hey, I bet it's not even a nice place to visit. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, I bet it's... Okay, uh... Yeah, what was that cloaked person before? Proper attire required. Around here, that could mean just about anything. Well, I gotta assume Perfectly it's... Perfectly round butthole. Perfectly round. I, I imagine, um... Wait, what was this perfectly round pothole? I don't remember. <laughs> what? Where did he see that? What's this? Oh, I hadn't clicked on this one. Oh, what the heck is this? Nothing is on. Ink pad. <gasps> ink! I ink, therefore I am. I'm sure this is only mildly. Good. There we go. We did it. We've nailed it. All right, we can get a costume now. Fantastic. Oh, goody. It's a safe. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. I hate these puzzles. These are the worst. Oh, my God. Hey, that was easy. <laughs> a hole? A hole what? No, a portable hole. Oh, that was pretty easy. All right. This thing can take us anywhere. A portable oh, hole. Get some writing on it. Note, prototype only. Extremely limited range. Use in town centers only. May wish to purchase life insurance before commencing travel. <laughs> Interesting. Years left o meter. Okay. Only using town centre, what is that? Interesting. Uh 
interesting. Okay, I guess we gotta figure out a... I wonder what he said about the perfectly round hole. There it is. Oh, there it is. The poor hole. Okay, Flux. Here's the plan. I'm gonna put down this mysterious prototypical thing we found in enemy territory and know nothing about, and then we're gonna jump into it. Gee, couldn't we just play a nice, quiet game of Russian roulette? Is this like, is this like a quick travel thing? Uh, okie dokie! I don't know what I was expecting, but I know it wasn't this. Really? Have you seen a mysterious dimension that doesn't feature eyeballs, mathematical formulae, and clocks flying around? Point taken. I think this is quick travel, but it's quite the malevolence half. It's a fucking weird place, Jesus. Oh, it is. It is a quick travel thing. Okay. Hey, All right. We made it. We didn't get lost. Kind of cool. I like that. Implode or anything. Implode? You never said anything about imploding. If you thought a guy might implode, you could have fell into raw nineties. Look out! We're lost in raw nineties space. Raw 90s. Right, okay, so. So the costume shop. We have a we have a stamp now, we can uh Oh But just then Yes. Oh yes! The fugitives are around here somewhere. I can smell them! Uh I think that might have been me. Perhaps the fugitives are at the costume shop, procuring garments with which to disguise themselves. Move it! Uh, Something tells uh, me those three unpleasant henchmen-like voices belong to Nefarious's three unpleasant henchmen. What are we gonna do? Think! Think, Flux, think. Okay, I bet we go in here. Hide in there, hide in there. Far. That was easy. Fair enough. <laughs> Phew, that was a little too close for comfort. No kidding. Talk about small dressing rooms. It was kind of dicey when the henchman came in too. Sigh. <laughs> okay. Right. So we have uh, this. The uh, king. Would like to redeem his free rental voucher. Yeah, everyone has such pointy tits, and this is crazy. Let's see. All right, I got the stem. The voucher's authorized. Cool. Okay, good, cool. good. Okay, well, first let me give you his free gift. You mean his free rental? I'm getting there, Doc. No, let me I do the things. <laughs> Here you go. Give me, give me a moment to do the things I gotta do. It's a fly suit. Yeah, the fly suit. It's Great. Really okay. You know, work out as a rental. Nobody around here wants to look like a fly, I guess. But I thought, you know, maybe Hugh would like it as a token of appreciation for his business and stuff. Right. I can't wait to show. And like, don't forget his free rental. Is King Hugh looking for anything in particular? Uh, we'll know it when we see it. Okay, like, take whichever one you want. <laughs> Okay, we have a lumberjack, we have a bunny, we have a tutu, com complete with pointy breasts, a jester, a Santa costume, a harlequin costume, a clown costume, a police costume, a space costume, a pajama costume, a viking costume, and a bishop costume. Uh, there's no lady squirrel suit, yeah. It's just a bunny. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm guessing we need this for, uh, the Scarecrow. Oh shit, what did he say? He said he wanted, um... Yeah, no, what was, what was it he said? Uh, what was, what was the description? you say the Harlequin costume in you, Asher? Seems like a random one. No bastard whistle, no cross-dressing. Okay. I think he said no stripes, right? So I guess not... 
No, no tutu. And now I'm going to take a, bet, a guess when he's saying no cross dressing. It meant no bishops because it's got a cross on it. Um. No bells and whistles, I said, right? So no whistles, not a police outfit. Um, I think he said no stripes. I'm assuming that's what I meant by no cross dressing, as in not the bishop because he's got a cross. The Viking costume? Maybe he said no horns? Nothing pointy? I think he said nothing pointy. No big top. All right, yeah, so no clown. We're going to die and day and night. I don't know. I kind of want to listen to what they said again. Uh, I don't know if there's like a way to... I think it was. <laughs> I want the bunny costume. I'm gonna come back in a second and do Here this. Go. I want to hear what he said again. Enjoy, okay? Okay. Okay. I stopped playing dress up months ago. I if we can use that to like. Let me hang on. Let me hear what. Let me hear what they said a second. I, I generally can't remember what they were saying. We're back. Well, I'll give her the book. The I'm doing this. Duo. Nice to see you boys again. Right. Uh, yeah, what was it you wanted? So you're willing to trade your cloak if we can find you something... Uh... You gotta be kidding. You mean you don't remember the spiel? I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair no out of place. No Nothing space. too sappy and not too many bells and whistles. Sappy. I don't want a big top and oh. definitely no cross dressing. Thanks. No. I admire a guy who knows what he doesn't want. Not a hair well, out of place. Be going. All right, boys, but don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted. It's not a bunny. If I wasn't already. Hair out of place. I think that might put she the. Has, uh, I think that might look, take the Viking thing out. Retro. I think the Viking might be too bristly. Would it be okay if we exchange this? No seasonal stuff. Yeah. Oh, go for it! Pick a costume. Any yeah, costume yeah. We got the flamboyant all. gay stereotype scarecrow. Right. So not that one. Not that one. Not that one, because I like, hair. I don't think the Viking one. Not that one. Not that one. Nothing out of this world. No bells and whistles. All day and all night, so not that. Not that. Not that one. I don't think that. I, I don't... Not sappy. Oh, yeah, not sappy like a lumberjack with no trees. That, that's probably what that is. I guess I would have to be the Harlequin then, right? Doesn't want any whistles. Once day and night, that's night. No crosses. Harlequin's the only one that doesn't rule out anything of, because, yeah, if it's Lumberjack is not too sappy, so it takes that out. Jester costume. I mean, Jester, oh, it's got bells, yeah, bells, whistles, yeah, it's got to be the Harlequin. I can't see what else it would be. Just a sack. Yeah, it's very specific for being so vague, yeah. Enjoy, okay? Okay. Harlequin's big top? Uh, no, I think the big top was referring specifically to the clown, as in a circus. We'll find out now. I think we found what you're looking for. Oh, goody, goody, goody! <laughs> yep, okay, they're happy. <laughs> Him trying to interact with the cartoon stuff is my favorite. He's like, he has to do such awkward movements. Oh no. No! no. 
<laughs> My beautiful Carecrow! Oh, oh corn. This is terrible. Yeah. After all that effort, my costume is ruined. Oh no, my scarecrow. Oh, this guy's rank as a row of soldiers. No, I love the scarecrow, dude. Sorry, You're my I, favorite. I'm afraid I have to commandeer this corn cob. It might prove crucial for the successful completion of our tippy top secret mission. Yeah, we're yeah, grabbing the corn you might now. Need a snack. <laughs> you can use that to make popcorn for the bunny, I reckon. Let's go give the, the book to the lady as well. If she wants it. Would you like to trade books? Yeah, nice. There we go. Mating habits of the malevolated forest squirrel. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way. Why? Way. What a totally cool, cool book. Back. Thank you so much! Okay, all right. So we now have insoluble puzzles, which Enigma, I think Enigma, a book of insoluble paradoxical yeah, so puzzles. Yeah, that's that's for the robot. And we got the cloak. What if we can wear the cloak? I may not be the world's snazziest dresser, but I'm not going to wear Scarecrow's castoffs unless I absolutely have to. Yeah, I reckon we use that to get into the uh, the bowling place. Right, so popcorn. Maybe butter. Oh, we don't have the butter anymore. Can we put the bee corn in the jumping beans? No. <laughs> That's the sound it should make. Why? 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 A spit. Oh. A disgusting hunk of chewed meat with special sauce from the bar. Oh. I just... Okay, that was random. I just happened to click on that. Okay, I've just got poisonous meat. What the fuck? <laughs> a stamping pad. I have poisonous meat now. I have a, a fly, truly repulsive fly, fly costume. costume. Complete with big buggy eyes, leathery wings, and sticky suckers on its feet. Why the fuck do I have a fly costume? I got corn, if you want that. Hey, puppy. Some nice corn on the we were fine when he made oh, no. cows into bandits. Oh, the skick! The, the, it was the vulture that wanted meat, wasn't it? That was what was it. Gone too far. I can't remember what it was Sorry. that wanted meat. It's the vulture. Okay, so we don't want that one, right? We don't. We don't want that one. Oh, dude, I'm so sad that the the fucking scarecrow is gone. I love the scarecrow. All right, I I also want to wait. Hang on, let's go here. I think maybe this. Pathetic worm! We've tried that before! Oh, okay. I'm numb to that kind of abuse. I need a new, unbearably delectable form of torture. Okay. Oh, you sack of mutton! How about a fly costume? That is useless! Does nobody understand the needs of a frustrated, buxom, bovine dominatrix with masochistic tendencies? Not really, I'll be honest Whip with you. Whip my cream! Whip my cream. Whip my cream. That is a phrase. Right, so. Let's give this guy the poison meat. <laughs> that just goes to show. Uh. Man, I made it that one, though. shouldn't eat poison carcasses. Drew, you are not only my friend, you're my teacher. All right, now I have to give away all of them, just now. you got to let me work out some. Now that vulture is, well, vulture bait. A loose feather. Think anyone would mind if I took this feather? I've heard it said that plucking a feather from a fallen bird is a noble gesture of compassion. I know you're just guessing, but what I'm saying is give me, a, give me a little bit to try and work it out. Of course, the guy who said it was drunk at the time, and everyone else thought he was a moron. I want the nail. I, I don't want the sign. The arrow sign. I want the, I want the, I want the, the nail. 
is that? A signpost. Oh, it's for the bow and arrow, of course. Now that vulture is, well, vulture bait. Right, uh... Okay, so it's down this way. Still, uh, we, I, we, we've got the thing for the squirrel, but we don't have... Not quite there yet. Right, let's try and let's do some popcorn then, shall we? Can we do corn on the spit? Interesting. Can we put the spit back on spit base? I'll just put this back where I found it. Can we put the corn on there? I can cook it better without a spit. Right. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Without the spit, we just throw the corn. It's <laughs> cool, but remember, don't try this at home. I love that. It's like, okay, put the spit. I can cook it better without a spit. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Sure. Just throw the corn. Popcorn. In there. Okay. All right. Sweet. <laughs> it makes sense to me. <laughs> All right, let's give this to the uh, the bunny then, shall we? Fluffy, we have a special surprise. For Got it. We got it. It's popcorn, isn't it? Right? Isn't it? Huh? Yeah, we don't we don't have butter. We used up all the butter. Give me my popcorn. Uh, sure. Here you go. Popcorn! My favorite -est. Oh, boy! Here, you can have this old cotton candy. Okay, we got the cotton candy. I hate it anyway. Thanks. Interesting, interesting. Cotton candy. Sickly, sweet, cotton candy. candy. Like, do you know what ran from my head the second I saw the cotton candy? I was like, pink. Pink squirrel? <laughs> but no, okay, I gotta think a bit more about that. Like, sickly sweet cotton candy. Right, before I go anywhere else, I wanna do- I wanna try the dough on the fire, just in case. What's your name? What's that? I don't know, like, sickly sweet- An arrow sign? Sickly sweet. He might find that interesting, but I don't think he can see it from up there. Okay, he does find it. Okay, okay. That's not much of a gift. He might find that interesting. Right? He might find that interesting. But, but I don't think he can see it from up there. Right, okay. <laughs> Flux, maybe your approach was wrong. Could you try getting those nuts again? Why me? Can we do anything while he's doing this? I can't, I can't move while he's doing this, okay. And that's the way the news goes. Milhi. I feel like this is important. Interesting. Okay. Uh, maybe we can get like a fake squirrel and stick that as like its tail. I know that's a bit weird out there. Doe's dough. Can we make a fake squirrel out of dough? I don't think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking for. Up if I just toss it into the fire. Right, okay. If I, oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes me think that we... There must be a more convenient way to do that. What do you fucking mean? All right, let's try this again. I'll just put this back where I found it. Okay, yeah, put that back. Right, now put the dough on there. There we go, there we go. That's a more convenient way to do that, apparently. All right, we have it. We've got bread. 
Hey, I didn't know you could cook. I mean bake. I mean barbecue. Great. Okay, we have a roll. Cooked it myself. Cooked it myself. Okay, we have a roll. Take that back with me as well. All right, let's go to the robot. Tremble, models. Okay, so let's try this. Boy, this is a great book. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. Puzzles, stories. Say, would you like to hear a story? Of course not. Oh, come on, you'll like it. It's a story about a genie. The smartest genie. <laughs> oh, I love stories about genies. Tell me. He certainly couldn't be as clever as I. No one ever stumped the genie. Until one day, the king's sister's best friend's hairdresser came to see him. Did she? She asked, what is the one question that you can't answer? That's nice. So, seen any good movies? Hold on a second. See, I thought maybe I'd ask you the same thing. Same thing? What? Same thing. You know, what's the one question you cannot answer? This is absurd. I... Well? I... It's... You can't answer my question? Stop it! I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. There's nothing I cannot answer. Nothing I can't. Oh, I don't feel well. What have you done? Impudent meat puppets. What have you done? Done. Done. <laughs> we asked him a question that he can't answer because there's, there's no question he can't answer, so he can't answer the question of what he can't answer. I smarter than old Bolt Brain. So what if we can take his head? He can't answer anyway. Oh, boy. Alright, let's get that plunger, so now we can unclog the toilet. Let's take the plunger. You blow off yeah, a it's like a really weird Christopher Walken robot. <laughs> that's low. I don't have any use for the head of a broken down megalomaniacal robot. You sure? Are you sure that? Like, you say that, but, I mean, are you sure? I don't have any use for the head of a broken-down, megalomaniacal robot. Megalomaniacal. <laughs> that was the best take they got with it. Megalomaniacal. Ooh, this looks like a swivels. My pal Flux. No, I want you there. Well, you. No, what is. Go there. Okay, 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 yeah, do that. No. No. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> they won't do what I want them to do! I'm not sure these robots are the work of someone who's brilliant or completely insane. In my experience, the two usually go together. Now stand there. I, need, I want you to stand there while I do it. Okay, fine, whatever. All right, fuck you. All right, well, yeah, we, we'll be back afterwards. We'll be back later. Right, I'm pretty sure we use the cloak here. You don't suppose this cloak is the proper attire for CD's club? Only one way to find out. Evening, man. Stop flirting, Jack. Or I'll kick out your insides and turn your empty hide into a party dress. Wow, okay. All the gin joints and all the towns and all the world, we walk into hers. All right, okay, there we go. There we go. The proper tie was a cloak, apparently. <laughs> Oh, no, to no, you, no. Wow! Forget about it! They're back again. The Free Stooges are back. Man, forget about it. See? Of course we should search this area. For all we know, the fugitives could be hiding right here in our own backyard. Wait a minute. We hey, Kiba, how's it going? Perhaps they have sought refuge in CD's club. Move it! Uh-oh! Henchman alert! We're doomed! No, we're not! We can always... Um, well, uh... 
Yeah, you could see the patrons pass by, so that's how I knew about the cloak. Good night. That's how I knew. I wasn't saying it was weird. I said that makes sense, you know. Moving. <laughs> they can't have gotten far. We did it. We are witted. Three morons. Well, at least it beats being outwitted by three morons. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? What kind of talk is that? What kind Take of talk is that? Advice. A guy could find himself with his face caved in, mouthing off like that in my club. Did you clowns figure it was ladies' night or something? Ah, shut up, you bald-headed twit. That's better. Now, what can I do you for, creeps? What can I do you for? Alright, uh, what's up? We like two pairs of shoes. I'm a size 10. My friends are... Oh. A couple of hot shots, huh? Well, listen, um, I see hot shots like yous come true here every day, gunning for old CD. And I watch them crawl right back out the door. Loses every damn one. Now, why don't yous do just <sniffs> blow? I don't understand. Gunning? For you? I only ask for some shoes. Listen, chump. The only shoe you'll get from me will need to be surgically removed from your rectum. No, cl no, cold, no well, Cool World nods yet. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I don't remember when Cool World I came out. CD it might have been after this. One and only champion a hairpin bowling? No, where's where's oh, Brad Pitt on. stopping us from banging hairpin the cartoon people? Bowling? Where you jerks been? Baking cookies? Hairpin bowling is the toughest, gruelingest, sweatingest sport ever invented. It's so tough, you gotta fight for a lane. And once you get a lane, the only score what counts is a strike. Man, okay, he's like, the, this is the most manly, toughest fucking bowling player I've ever seen. Everyone's so tough as shit. But me. I can tell by the house rules that you're a fair man, CD. Deranged! But yeah, but I heard there's a game based on cool world. Not lane. one I, I think I ever want to experience. What's the big attraction? Well, a good rumble is reason enough for most of us. But there is the added incentive of a prize. <gasps> What's the prize? What's the prize? What's the prize? See, you score a strike. You in these three beautiful golden, golden pins. pins. Yeah. Oh, what I want with those? Yeah. Why would I want three golden Take pins? Take a good look, chumps. That's the last you'll be seeing of these. Unless oh, you score a strike, that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Pins and needles. Oh yeah, pins and needles. Yeah, of course. Yeah, pins and needles. That makes sense. So, CD, what's your secret? Why are you the only one who's ever scored a strike? To be a world-class bowler, you need years of practice, huge cojones, and of course, my special technique. Step aside, losers. Watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Look, Mom, no hands. Oh. Uh, 
this game is fucking crazy. This is made in 1996. It's weird as shit. Yeah. Oh, that, trust me, that's not even the weird. There's a BDSM cow in this. <laughs> It's str it's like all cartoony, ah, and then it's just like there's so bowling. many sex jokes. And yes, sport fans. The BDSM cow again whipped by a sheep. Is fucking weird. Doing that performance, I guarantee you. Yeah. You very nineties is very nineties. Yes. As for your bowling technique, well, it's that was extremely strange watching a unique. a man it's fire a, a bowling ball into there. Well, well, ain't we cheeky? I guess the bottom line is that it works. And Christopher Lloyd's right. But not just any future. old bum could pull it off. <laughs> all right, all right. No more wisecracks. Yeah. Stop throwing. <laughs> Man, that, that is an interesting picture. <laughs> I never thought I'd watch a man fire off a bowling ball out of his ass. Yeah, T Tarkovsky, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can put, I can cross it off my bucket list now. Uh, Mr. Seedy, <laughs> I was wondering if we might get another demonstration that's of your so fascinating lovely. bowling technique. Yeah, I miss that icky feeling it gave me. Sure, I thought I you was like jerks would never, never ask. Oh, no, I don't want to watch it again. Oh, Jesus, please don't watch it again. <laughs> I don't want to watch a man shove a bowling ball up his ass. <laughs> this game is honestly bonkers. Oh Jesus! That's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, Christopher Lloyd is, uh, is so over the top. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> this is a really weird game, but f yeah. Look, mom, no hands. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, they're bunnies. I didn't even, didn't, didn't even occur to me the last time that they were bunnies. Oh, I, I had, I've had this on my mind for a while, the play two and stroke. I've had this on my mind for a while. I knew it was odd. I didn't know it was this odd. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I do. I love it. This is this is, a, this is exactly what I want to play. I just a weird, dated, old game that you're just sitting there like, what am I seeing? One piece all the way to the pins, and the only score what counts is a strike. Should you do the impossible and man, tell you, nineties games were a trip, man. The grand prize of three golden pins is all yours. So, CD, you and the Farius ever get together and go bowling? Nah, his dark unholiness rarely graces us with his royal presence. He just hangs out. You see a lot of BDSM cows on Saturday morning just, cartoons. You must be watching some interesting Saturday cartoons. Can't say I remember that from Saturday cartoons. Saturday morning. Laughing like a man, man. Well, that's a tough schedule. Have you ever been inside his fortress, castle, place? Thing. Are you kidding? Nobody wants to go inside that joint. Of course, if he's not careful, a guy could get himself dragged inside by the count. I don't remember the BDSM cow from Cow and Chicken Talk about getting freaks. whipped by a sheep. What do you know about the Count's henchmen? Those three half finished morons who work for Nefarious and a sort of the Malevolence PD. Creepy mothers, too. Rumor has it that old Nefarious brought him back from the dead. Naturally, they think he's just the cat's meow. They kiss his butt up and down, do whatever he says. You know, <laughs> <those> <laughs> it can't kind of really was that sick. I don't well, remember that. He brought them back from the dead. I do not remember well, that. Don't get excited. It's there was a <laughs> the <laughs> These chumps weren't exactly in tip top shape. Oh my like god, I do not remember that. That's good. One guy Jesus. Couldn't wow. One couldn't talk and one couldn't see. The robot maker across the way rigged up phony eyes and ears and whatnot. Like I said, real creepy. Thank you for your time, Mr. CD, sir. I thought I told you. 90s were a trip, man. The 90s were a hell of a trip. Here, punk. I think 
what Drew meant to say was, Stop it, you bloated bag of gas! Right, so can we go bowling? The bear doesn't strike me as the sharing type. Interesting. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can do something to that then. To... A portable hole. Beans on a bowling. Board. Excuse me, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Never mind. We do something with the bear, maybe? Take a off. spit. Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to leave. Mind if I change into something a little more comfortable? I, mean, I was gonna tickle the bear with a feather. We can't get in there. That hairy thing is in the way. Oh, you can have to do this every time. Activate cloaking device! Don't mind, mind us, us ma'am. We're, We're just, just passing, passing through. through. Then hustle, unless you want to see my fist passing through your face. That's pretty cool. All right, I reckon we tickle the bear with the feather. An arrow sign. I oh, you moved to shit. Okay. All right, when he when he's gonna grab it, we we'll tickle him. Put the ball there, but I, I don't. I mean, like maybe there's stuff we could do with the ball. Put a rubber glove on it. A spit. A spit. Right, I'm pretty certain that we tickle this bear now. Good night. Do you know what big mean bears do when they're tickled? No. What? I don't know either, and I don't think I want to find out. You go, become. This is a weird. This is a weird poll, but like, can can flux become a ball? He's purple. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> the bear doesn't strike me as the sharing type. A spit. A spit. Maybe we don't have what we need. Right, what do we know what we need to do right now? Well, we can go to the oh, fish, baby. so I guess that's something. We can, we, can go, we can go do the fish. Fish. That's something, that's something that we, uh, we actually know how to do. Okay, so we get the plunger. <laughs> Too bad the robot maker couldn't be here to see what we did with his gadget. The shock probably would have blown his head. Portable holes is a quick, uh, it's a quick, um, already. quick travel thing. I better not. Did we? Did we unplug it? I guess we did. I haven't had this much fun since my goldfish died. Okay, and then we flush. Oh, we have to pull it when we get the right one. I mean, we want, we want the puffer fish, don't we? Nice catch! Right, I, I think we want the, the puffer fish. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck, that's fast. God damn. Holy shit, dude. That's hard as hell. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Oh my god, that's really difficult. <laughs> you have to like pre-guess if it's coming out. I don't know if there's a pattern to them or not. Go fish. Nope, nope, wrong one. What a strange the drill. I know you can do better than that. What a strange device. I'm sure there's a Cattell. There's a sound. Ah, right. Okay, the yellow one has a specific sound. I got it. I have to listen for that. Cut out the toilet, humor drill. I know you can do better than that. It's the sound. It's the sound they make when they go down. Whenever you're ready, Captain. It sound the thing is that the yet the puffer fish sounds quite similar to the purple ones. I need to I need to rehear it again. Go fish. Purple. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's go, boys. Yeah, the painting keeps moving. Nice catch! Okay, we have the fish. A puffer fish. What, is, what do we do now? You win. Okay, well we have the best fish now. A puffer fish. <laughs> 